What is going on? It is quarantine cook and we are outside today. We finally have no rain so we got the grill running. Your favorite quarantine meal for Sporter House steaks. They are looking pretty good. We got some potatoes in the oven. Alright, what's up guys? We're back on the quarantine cook. Episode number five. We have been just blazing through episodes. I've been editing, shooting, cooking, editing, shooting, cooking, website building, all that fun stuff. And before you think it, I know what you're gonna say. Does this guy own any other clothes besides gray sweatsuits and a QSC hat? And I'm gonna get this out there. It's a work from home situation, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have to get dressed very often right now. On the quarantine cook, that's one of the benefits. One of the other benefits is we get to cook. And what we're cooking today is porterhouses. So I already got the grill going here. I'm just gonna bring this in. I just flipped these babies. I gave you guys a beautiful shot here just to look at what's going on under the grill. We seasoned them up beforehand. So, I mean, basically, how to grill a steak, right? How hard is it, you say? The charcoal is the key. We don't use no gas around here. We use charcoal. Kingsford charcoal. And I have another little secret. This baby. Now you can technically use it without lighter fluid, but it's funner if you use lighter fluid in it and it's quicker. But I love this little char griller that I got. It's a little round grill. It cooks just enough food for us. Um, it works great. Um, you know, it, it's been a great grill. So we're working on that. We have some potatoes in the oven. We threw some little baby potatoes in with butter and salt and pepper, onions, and uh, all that good stuff. They're sitting in the oven. We got some rolls in the oven. We're doing it all up, but it's a beautiful day here. I'm just gonna swing this around so you can see, I mean, it's awesome. So we're gonna do this stuff outside today. You know, we had to do something. It's been raining, it's been nasty. We've been cooking nonstop in the house. So we're gonna do an outdoor episode for you guys. Just, you know, let you guys feel what it's like to be in nature, even if you can't be, uh, you know. So that's what we're doing here in the quarantine cook. Thank you guys all for watching with us. Appreciate all the feedback. We're gonna keep doing this up tell forever I guess so stay tuned with us we'll be back at you in a little bit. all right guys we're back inside I, the dinger is gonna ding look at that our rolls are done now <clears throat> we didn't make these from scratch we cheated we got some potato So, yeah, we cheated a little bit on the bread. Yeah, we could have made our own bread. But we already had some. Turn this off. We got our pack of potatoes right over here. They're looking really nice. Buns are looking really nice. Hot out of the oven. Steaks are coming along. I like to do the steaks for like five minutes on each side and then kind of monitor them from there. I get accused of not always cooking them all the way a couple times lately, so we're going to make sure that we cook them all the way. Make sure everybody's happy. We got potatoes, we got the bread. That's it, guys. This is going to be the shortest episode, because grilling for the quarantine cook is the easiest thing to do, because all I got to do is put steaks on the grill and throw some potatoes in the oven. So that's it. That's the episode, guys. Happy Sunday, fun day. You know, this was it. We made some salsa. We'll cut that salsa episode in. Sean did a great job making that for us. So we'll throw that in this episode. And uh, we have a couple other things that we're gonna be working on. It's time for some dessert. I'm hungry for dessert. I got one of my good Facebook friends. We're gonna put a link in this video because she makes cakes and she got me hungry. And if you want a cake from her after this is all over with, make sure you hit her up. She'll get you cake. I believe she's shipping anywhere. So that's it, guys. You guys have a great one. 
We'll talk to you later.